everybody. Uh, welcome to summer cooking on the barbecue. Um, tonight we've got dirty laundry. Sauvignon Blanc. It's 2023. And we just had the pleasure of visiting the winery a few weeks ago now, actually, in Penticton. So we're going to enjoy some of that outside on the patio while we make a quick, easy uh, barbecue dinner. You will need some garlic bread, ideally the Texas toast garlic bread that comes frozen. Mozzarella cheese. I'm using some tomatoes from the garden, which is right there. And I have some smoked meat. You can use whichever meat you like. I probably just wouldn't use chicken. You use that in smoker. You did that in smoker. I did this in the smoker, which there is right go. there. <laughs> All right. So I have the barbecue heating up. And I have a pan on the barbecue because I don't want the ingredients to fall through. So. Texas toast. <clears throat> a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top of that. Not a lot, like a very... Don't get the barbecue too hot either because you don't want the toast to burn on the bottom, you just want it to toast. cast iron pan on here if you're wondering what's up with that okay and then we'll close that and give that a couple of seconds for the cheese to melt cheers that's delicious a little on the sweeter side but still delicious to top this off I also have don't mind the plate but I have some fresh green onions from the garden as well. Tomatoes. I'm just gonna give that an extra couple of seconds. And so I don't accidentally touch the handle on that without anything on my hands, I'm gonna grab a oven mitt. about right so it's just barely toasted so just enough and then you're gonna take your smoked meat put that on top of the cheese put that down again for a couple seconds to let the smoked meat heat up now, you could have also boiled your smoked meat in a bag to heat it up as well. I'm just choosing to do it this way. Plates aside. Um, I would serve this with a side salad. I have a Caesar salad um, as well to, to serve with this, but we're just going to have the toast today. Now at this point I'm going to check underneath to see how toasted everything is because our next step is to put the tomatoes and cheese on top of that and that's not going to take very long. So I also want to make sure that I'm getting this. Ah, the best. Just made a piece of fried cheese. We'll put that aside to cool off. Nope, kiss it goodbye. <gasps> so also too, because these were previously frozen, you want to make sure you're giving stuff enough time to defrost the bread. My barbecue is 
hanging out around 300-ish. And that's fine, it's easier to control the temperature. You can make these ahead as an appetizer as well for a barbecue. So again, just making sure that you're not burning the bottom of the toast while the inside is still uh, getting warm. I'm gonna get by a couple more minutes just because I don't think the meat's warm enough just yet for me to put the mozzarella cheese on. So. Dirty Laundry Winery is actually located in Penticton. And a fun fact, Canada's Amazing Race was one, it was one of the stops on Canada's Amazing Race uh, this past season. Well, I guess the season is still being aired on TV. Uh, so if you go there, you can see the plaque uh, from Canada's Amazing Race. They have a selection of red wines as well as white wines, and they are open to the public for tastings. And uh, tastings are around $6 per person, and you need to buy a ticket ahead of time. So they have little machines outside the tasting room. You can also uh, eat there and have lunch as well. And with your tasting, you get a nifty little um, clothes peg as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now, I'm just gonna take a couple slices of tomato. These are tomatoes from our garden. Wait, can you heat up a bit so we can turn it back down a bit? You don't have to do this. I just thought it would be a nice touch. Okay, and some more mozzarella cheese now on top. This time you probably want to be a little bit more generous um, than you were uh, with the cheese underneath. you do these on the blackstone if you're talented enough not to burn the bread on the blackstone sure and then we'll put that back down and give that a few minutes to uh for the cheese to melt uh and then we'll top it off with some green onions and this will probably be one of the fastest videos we've ever done but that's okay this is this one is definitely meant to be quick and easy. You can also do a pizza version of this uh, where you would put some pizza sauce down, a little bit of pepperoni on top of that, um, maybe some olives, toppings of your choice, and some mozzarella cheese on top and top it off with a little bit of basil. So that also is an option. I'm just gonna sprinkle a few green onions on top just right before the cheese is finished melting so that those will melt into the cheese. This is entirely, ooh, that's hot, optional. They're very dainty. Fresh from the garden. We'll put this aside. Get our pans ready. This is what we eat off of during the summer. I got a package of these at Costco for, what did I pay? Like $14 or something. And they're the best things ever. I would not put them in your dishwasher. That is the only thing I will say. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna take a bit of a break and we're gonna let these finish toasting for a couple of minutes. Okay, so this is what we've ended up with. You can leave it on for as long as you need to, to just make sure that that bread isn't still frozen and the cheese is as melted as you want it. Cheers. Mm. That tastes good. Mmm. 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 Mm, that's really that's really good. It's good with wine. It actually really is good with the wine. I just probably wouldn't do it with chicken. Some sort of like, um, I'm not even sure I would do it with steak. I don't know. You could try. Your choice. Um, but yeah. Woo. Cheers. It's quick. It's easy. Mmm. Super delicious. Um, and yeah, easy if you have friends coming over um, to make us an appetizer. Perfect. Again, dirty laundry. Mm. Sauvignon Blanc 2023. We visited. Go for the experience to visit. It's absolutely delightful. That smoked meat, I got the pepper. Oh my. Um, again, a selection of red and whites. <clears throat> and a fun little tasting experience as well. So, cheers. Until next time, and maybe we'll try to bring it outside again next time and cut some stuff on the Blackstone. Happy Saturday night, everybody.